What's up guys, it's the Oklahoma Prepper and today I want to talk to you guys about the uh, cactus and the prickly pear and a little bit about how to harvest and um, prepare them for, uh, for a meal. Uh, this is something that would be beneficial to a uh, prepper or a homesteader that has quite a bit of cactus and also um, if uh, you're in a SHTF situation this is something that is very uh, popular around Oklahoma and uh, something that you guys can easily find if you know what you're looking for. So today we're going to talk about prickly pear cactus and this is uh, the prickly pear cactus. It's uh, got a more of a teardrop shaped uh, paddle or leaf and uh, it's got all these little uh, purple bulbs and that's actually your prickly pear fruit. Um, there's a couple of different ways to harvest. I've seen uh, people using um, a uh, type of a uh, blowtorch or a, uh, um, I guess a weed burner to uh, burn the uh, glow kids off or the thorns off. And those are those little white dots right there on the pear. And you can see them. That's exactly what they are there on the, uh, on the cactus leaf itself uh, you can see those uh, small hairs they actually grow into thorns and those small hairs are actually very uh, they're very uncomfortable to get when you get them in your uh, finger or in your hand uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the uh, the fruit um, bulb and you're going to take it with a pair of tongs and you're going to cut down right where the uh, bulb meets the um, leaf or the paddle on the cactus and you're going to cut it off and you're just going to take and uh, skin the fruit with a paring knife or however you guys uh, whatever methods you have of doing it and you're going to take the meat uh, inside of the fruit and you're just going to eat it um, there's a couple of different ways to eat it I've seen people um, make jellies out of them uh, they are very delicious uh, that you can uh, I've actually just eat them directly off the uh, cactus and it's a really really good sweet uh, fruit um, the leaf here or the paddle uh, is another uh, food source um, these are more harvested in the uh, spring when they're about that size real tender um, and uh, you can do the same thing. Uh, you can grab them with a pair of tongs. You can cut them right there at the base where they uh, meet another leaf or where they meet the uh, stalk of the cactus. And um, you want to skin the uh, the cactus off or the nopales off. And, uh, and uh, you want to chop it up in strips or dice it up into dices. And uh, it makes a... Uh, a great addition my favorite is to eat them with scrambled eggs and bacon uh, and uh, a little bit of salsa makes for a good flavor and uh, this is absolutely something that you guys want to keep in mind um, if you guys are around Oklahoma or actually any of the more temperate climates uh, around the desert areas uh, around Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas um, down around this part of the country um, this is definitely something uh, to keep in mind. It's the cactus has a lot of antioxidants, a lot of vitamins and minerals in it. So it's something you definitely want to keep in mind if uh, stuff starts to hit the fan. Uh, so um, just keep in mind cactus and opalus, uh, the prickly pear cactus, uh, very delicious, very high in nutrients um, and antioxidants. And uh, something to uh, keep in mind when uh, uh, out in the wilderness or out in the bush and uh, something goes bad uh, so that you guys could have a uh, good hearty uh, dinner. You can see some of the bugs have gotten um, into the fruits and you can see what it looks like inside. There's some seeds in there. Um, but uh, here you go. Here's the prickly pear cactus. If you guys want to... Uh, 